Hey, what's going on YouTube? Parrish Plays here with my November edition of PSA Return, and this one I got smoked. I sent in about 66 cards, and I think only 21 of them got 10s, so my worst submission of the year by far. But I know the reason you guys are all here to see who won the giveaway, this beautiful Greninja card. That winner will show up in 3, 2, 1 there. Congratulations. I will get this shipped out to you. All I need from you, email me on my Gmail account. I'll reach out to you as well. Just need to get your shipping address. It'll be free. I'll ship it out to you, no problem. Um, and you'll get this beautiful card. So congratulations. Thanks for watching. To get entered into this giveaway, all you got to do is like this, like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment letting me know what your favorite card is of the submission, and I will get you entered in to win one of these cards. And unfortunately, it probably won't be a high grade because I didn't get very many of those. So let's jump right into it. I did get some bangers, though. We'll start with one of those. This is the beautiful Vaporeon VMAX. I absolutely love this card. This card's done very well for me. It grades pretty easily, um, surprisingly, because the boxes are kind of hard to grade. Um, it's just shoved in there, bounces all around, so beautiful card though, I've graded this a few times, have one in my personal collection, so I'll be selling that one off, and the good news about getting some of these 10s is, even though we only got a low percentage, um, the ones we did hit were pretty good ones, so I think I'll be able to sell off those, at least make my money back from the submission, and then I'll tell you what the plan is for all these going forward, but I'll probably be cracking a lot of them. This one's beautiful, this is, uh, the, um... Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box from Stellar Crown, and that set has done very well for me, and so I'm super happy to get this in A10, um, because this will probably be worth something like 200 bucks. I'll sell that off, and that'll pay for all my ETBs, um, and you'll see I get to keep one of those cards for myself. Uh, Bulbasaur here this is another Stellar Crown. This set was very good to me. I love this card. I would love to have it in my collection, but um, we're pretty early on in this life cycle for this one, so I'll be selling this off buying this card raw to keep, but I absolutely love this card. The Pidgey in there looking to cause havoc. Bulbasaur is just trying to have a little sleeve, alright? He's just chilling. Those cards are amazing. They go together, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander, and I absolutely love those. Mewtwo, V-Star, beautiful card as well. Not much to say about this one. Awesome fight here between Mewtwo and Charizard. Crown Zenith, my favorite set of Sword and Shield, and it grades super easy, so we love those cards. Uh, you'll see I kind of got smoked on some of my Crown Zenith, but the two bangers that I sent got 10, so we're happy about that. Always happy to have this card in a 10. Beautiful card. And then the Arceus V-Star. I love these gold cards. I'm a sucker for gold cards in general, but put an alternate art, put gold over it, and I'm sold for sure. But again, Scarlet or um, Crown Zenith is my favorite Sword and Shield set. Pull rates on it are so good. The art is so good. I love these cards, so beautiful card there. Happy to have that one in a 10. These two are pretty cool, Skeledurge and then Quackwaval. I tried to get the Meowscarada as well, but unfortunately the seller on eBay just for some reason didn't ship the card. They gave me a sob story about how, oh, I'll get it sent out in two weeks. So I waited two weeks, reached out again, and he's like, oh yeah, I'll get it out in a week. And then once I didn't hear from him, I just started a claim with eBay saying they never shipped my item. So luckily you get your money back, but... It would have been sweet to have a full set of these in Gem Mint 10. These grade pretty easily for some reason. Paldea Evolved is pretty good, except for the art rares. That match card is super hard to grade, but the special illustration rares from Paldea Evolved do pretty well. So even when you get a tough grader, these ones still get a 10. And this one's fun here, this Miriam. I've been trying to get this in a 10 for so long. Ever since Scarlet and Violet first came out, my wife is a nurse. She loves Miriam, so we've been trying to get this in a 10. I've graded it probably five times. And this is the first time we got a 10, so happy to have this one in the collection. That'll be staying with us, personal collection. Um, beautiful card. Love the kind of the way the texture looks on this one, but then that like rainbow pattern in the background that you can kind of see. Just a really cool card. Love that one. This Greninja EX. Love this card. This one, I found it in a, in a promo box in the wild. I looked at it, you know, you can see the front, and I'm like, ooh, that thing looks pretty clean. And then I got it home, looked at the back, and this thing was beautiful. Super clean, no whitening anywhere, which is super rare for a for a, a promo card like this. And if there was ever a card I would have sent to be black labeled, it probably should have been this one. This one was absolutely gorgeous. So even with a tough grader, he couldn't argue with this one. This one really was, but... Like Dan Ketchumall Collectibles said, I probably sent the black label to PSA to get a 10, but it is what it is. Happy to have the 10 on that one. I think this card is still undervalued, so if you're asking me, I'm actually probably going to hold on to this and then look to sell it later, because I think this will do 
uh, this one will be very similar to this card right here. Um, I know it was a little bit easier to get the Greninja boxes than it was the Evolution boxes, but I think they will perform very similar. Um, I think the art on both of these is top tier, some of the best of the sets. Um, this is the best of Scarlet Violet, this is, or this is the best of Sword and Shield, this is the best of Scarlet Violet, so I think this will do very well in the future. This one's now up to about 200 bucks. I anticipate the same with this. It'll probably come down as people race to the bottom, but then eventually as people get it, start stocking it away, there's no more boxes in the wild. I think this will go up uh, probably to around that $150 to $200 mark. So I'll probably be holding on to this depending on what eBay auctions look like. Um, but we'll see. Uh, hoping to get $150 to $200 for that one. If I can't, I'll probably hold till I can. Polyworld, beautiful 151 art rare. I graded a lot of 151 in the submission, and I think this was the only one that got a 10. So unfortunate that that was the only one to get a 10, but a beautiful one to get in a 10. I absolutely love this card. Uh, again, I'm a sucker. I sent a whole bunch of cards with blue background. For some reason, I love the blue background of the Pokemon cards. It just really pops off the page, so happy to have that. Mewtwo V-Star in, in a gold rainbow. Rainbow, not gold. Pokemon Go. I like Pokemon Go as a set. I love playing Pokemon Go on my phone still, so I liked this set. Mewtwo, Dragonite. Um, a lot of cool cards in this set. The Radiant subsection of the starters, so I'm a fan. Um, I like the rainbow cards. I've got a team of six that I was trying to put together So I'll be showing that off on Instagram now that I finally have this in a gem and ten Mewtwo was the last one I needed to get my team of six rainbow cards Rayquaza VMAX gem and ten. This one's fun. I sold this in a gem and ten So I bought two of them, you know My strategy is to try to sell one off and make profit do it again with twice um, So you'll see here. I did get this one in a ten, but then another one I did not get a 10 in, so we'll kind of see how those even out, see if it's worth it. But that seems to be the problem. I'll, I'll go into it when I'm into these 9s, but again, my plan was to always try to get a 10, sell it, and then buy two more raw cards, do the same thing. Unfortunately, I've been buying the cards again and then getting 9s and 8s, so this one was a real big submission. This just sent me back probably a little ways, but hopefully I'll be able to crack... I'm probably going to crack most of these and just resend them because they look pretty good. And it was just a case of getting a bad grader who had a bad day. So um, conspiracy theories are around about the New Jersey office. This one did come from New Jersey, and they have not been doing me very well. So send this stuff back to California. No more New Jersey, please. Radiant Charizard, this is pretty easy to grade. Not a huge card, like 50 bucks, so I'll get maybe $10 profit. But again, Crown Zenith is easy to grade. Charizard is very popular, so we'll send those. Celebration cards, and again, even my celebrations plays. I only got like a, I don't know, 40 to 50 percent gem and 10 rate on these too, so even these didn't do well. So the benefit to this is I didn't send very many huge cards. I was getting ready. This was sent out right before my big trip to Japan, so I was trying to save money actually. So there are no huge cards in the submission, which is probably fortunate for me that none of my huge cards got sent and got smoked in nines or eights. So. Overall, you know, this submission is what it is. It's not going to set me back too bad, but um, it definitely could have been worse as far as if I had sent, you know, a bunch of Bubble Mews or Charizards that I bought at a high price and then they got 9s or 8s, uh, I probably would have got smoked. So these ones in a 10, beautiful cards, Venusaur, and then Blastoise here, same thing. We got two 10s back, which is fine. I think I have one Celebration Charizard left. I love selling these as a full lot. Um, and especially right here around Christmas time, I'll be trying to get this up as soon as I can as a lot to hopefully get those out to someone before Christmas because I love those. But I do need more Celebration Charizards because those sold out so well. I think it might have been my last submission. I had five come back in a 10. Those are already gone. So it's amazing how fast those ones sell. Um, honestly, next year, my strategy might be less like onesie, twosie sort of cards and more just celebration Charizards. I might do the Dan Catchemall collectibles. Shout out to him. Buy 10 to 20 off TCG player. See what I can get um, and kind of go from there. So these ones, this is just 151 art rares in Japanese. This is uh, Ammonite. We got Charmander. We got Poliwhirl. And we got Mr. Mind. So what I'm trying to do with these is get a Gem Mint 10 of every single art rare from the Japanese 151 set and then sell that as a big kind of showcase item on my eBay. That'll be one of those like Poker Rev does. He's got one of every box up for something crazy, like a million, two million dollars, something stupid. But it gets people talking about it. It gets people to the store. So that's what I kind of want to do with these. I haven't seen anyone else on eBay selling a full Gem Mint 10 art set. 
uh, from Japanese, so I think that'll do okay. You know, I'll put it up there as some high premium that'll be crazy price, but it might get people talking about it, get people talking about my store, get some eyes on it, so that's kind of what I'm thinking for this. So we'll see if it was worth the effort. I almost have the full set now. I've got some cards out from my trip to Japan, um, and those will hopefully be the last ones I need to get a 10. So those were all my 10s. Like I said, 20 cards out of... These were my non-10s. 20 cards out of 60... 66, I think. 21 did not... Or 21 got a 10, so the rest, you know, got smoked on. But we'll go through them here pretty quick. Um, as I said, I'm probably going to be cracking most of these. So what I do, my sort of analysis of it, I take a look, um, and then this card... It looks very well centered, so that's the first thing you look at. If it's super off centered, I'm probably not going to send it. It's not just not worth it. But if I'm looking up here and there's not much whitening, this one it looks like there is some whitening on there, so this one might not get sent. But if there's not a bunch of whitening, then I'll go ahead and crack it and send it. If there is whitening, like if that, I feel like that was not there before I sent it to PSA, but. Because of that whining, I will not be cracking this one. But that's how I do it. I'm not going to go through the, that process of every card here. I'm just trying to get, you know, uh, show you guys a, a overall summary of each card and was it worth it in the end. Um, so we'll see if the tens can carry this whole. I think it will, but I think it'll be close. Very, uh, you know, less profit than I wanted. So that's kind of how I go through a card. That if I want to crack it or if I want to keep it and just sell it. Um, same thing with the Zapdos here. This one looks pretty well centered. I love this card. This is my favorite card of the 151 set. Um, and I can't get it in a 10. I've tried. I, I've graded a lot of these, maybe 8 to 10. And I have gotten two 10s, but I've sold them off. So I need one for my personal collection. Um, and I kept hoping 151 would get a reprint um, to bring the price down. But we still have not seen a sizable reprint for 151. So prices are actually going up instead of down. But this one, like just looking at that that looks pretty clean i will probably end up cracking that um to resubmit it see if i can't get a 10 so we'll see how that goes pikachu art rare again not much to say i sent a ton of the art rares um and i have already more in a nine that haven't sold already so hopefully i can make some money with uh, pokemon booming and like i said 151 not being reprinted so i think the singles should be going up so now would be a decent time to sell these to try to get rid of them same thing with this charmander i tried one of every starter because I thought it would be sweet to get a Gem Mint 10 starter set and sell those. You know how I like to sell them as sets, but instead we're stuck with a 9. And I've been trying to sell a Gem Mint 9 starter set, and, or Mint 9 starter set, and they haven't sold yet. So I've got those pretty expensive. Again, hoping the price kind of walks up to my price, um, which it might be getting pretty close actually. So that might sell, but I'll be selling these, listing those as singles. Uh, War Turtle again, 9, but this one looked pretty off-centered. I pulled that myself though. Um, and thought it might be okay. Same thing with the Dragonair. I pulled this. This one actually looked pretty clean. Um, centering was very good, so I thought that had a good chance, but it is what it is. Maridon, this is fun. These are the Pokemon Center uh, exclusive ones. I sold this in a 10 for like, something like 250 bucks, something crazy. So um, at that price, I was like, well, let's just do it again. I think I have two of these. You're going to see these. the next like five or six cards are all these Pokemon Center stamps. I've got one of every Pokemon Center stamp now, um, some of which I had sold off when the prices went crazy. The prices seem to be going pretty high on them. So if I sold them off, I bought them raw because I want one of every one of these in my collection. What I do with the Pokemon Center exclusive, I generally buy four ETBs and we open one each. My wife and I open one, or my wife opens one, I open one. Um, and so we get two of the promo cards, we grade two sell one and hopefully if it gets a 10 then that kind of sell or that kind of pays for all of them um, and then i can keep one card and two sealed etbs um, and that's been serving me pretty well um, these new stamp promo cards are doing very very well so i love these even as a nine i'm probably gonna hold on to these um, just to have one of every one of my collection you saw i had the 10 of this earlier so again i'll sell the 10 pays for everything and then i just keep the nine just so that I have one of every one in my collection. Um, I think these will do pretty well in the future, especially the big Pokemon, the, the smaller Pokemon like those Iron Thorns. You know, no one really cares about him, but um, with the Pokemon Center stamp, I think those will do pretty well. The Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs sell out pretty well, so I think those will be good holds long term. This Chen Pao, this is my favorite card of Pelde Evolved, probably. Again, love the blue background on it, love that. Uh, 
<laughs> love the blue background on this thing um it just pops off the page and chen pao one of my favorite pokemon i used him in scarlet got him to level 100 he was my first one what's not to love it's a saber tooth tiger with literal swords for fangs so he is awesome i i love this card um cool vibes on that one so wish that would have got a 10 that would have been in my personal collection because i got a nine i'll probably sell it try again or i might just crack it um, like i said the special illustration ra rares grade pretty easily um so if this doesn't have whitening i'll probably end up cracking that actually dash bunny x i pulled this myself so um thought while this was the new set special illustration rare would try to sell it off i don't think it's worth very much but um it is what it is i thought it'd be pretty early to market on that one this Misty's Determination, uh, this is from Evolutions, and normally, you know, you get a 9 on an older card like Evolutions, and I'm like, oh, that's great, but this one looks super clean. I bought this off TCG Player, and actually thought it had a real good chance of getting a 10. It got a 9, which is pretty good, but because it looks so clean, I'll probably crack it and send it one more time just to try, um, and then that one's one I'll just be keeping in my collection, because it's a cool card. I like that one, and Brock's Grit, um, Full Arts, they just look really cool. Gen 1 Trainers, love the Gen 1 hype. Entei in a 9, Suicune in a 9, these two beautiful cards, Crown Zenith normally grades super easy, so not sure what happened here, again I'll probably just end up cracking these because Crown Zenith grades pretty easily. And then the same thing here, we got Leafy on V-Star, oh I thought it was Glaceon, but Glaceon actually got an 8, so even worse than I thought. Leafy on V-Star in a 9, again I'll probably crack this one. Centering looked fine, Raider was just having a rough day. Um, he did not have his Wheaties in the morning, so, you know, unfortunately he takes it out on me and my, my grades, so it is what it is. This Charizard, a little bit off-centered, but beautiful card nonetheless. Probably end up cracking that as a 9. This Mewtwo, I just happen to pull this, popular Pokemon. I will not be cracking this one, it's not worth resending just a V card, but um, same thing here with these EXs. Pulled these myself, Obsidian Flames, Paldea, or Paldean Fates. Easy, you know, Charizards, there's not much here, but they looked good enough to 10, and on a normal day it probably would have, um, but they just happened to not. They're not very much profit on their own, but um, not worth cracking for sure. These ones are pretty tough. These trainer galleries are always tough to grade. I don't I've graded a ton of these, and I, I get smoked every time. I don't, when am I going to learn my lesson? I, I really don't know, but <laughs> they're just so cool. I love these trainer galleries. The EV Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon. I, I graded all of those in here somewhere. But I think those might have even got an 8 or something. So I love these cards, but they are very hard to grade. So I'll probably end up auctioning these or something. Not sure. Just to get my money back. Same thing with the Gengar here. Popular Pokemon. Cool artwork. They're pretty easy to pull, so they're super cheap cards. And so when you get a 9, it's very punishing. Because they're so cheap, no one even wants to buy them as a 9. But this... Mew from Crown Zenith I might crack. Again, it's a cheap card, but it's Crown Zenith. This one's definitely off-centered on the back, but again, Crown Zenith normally is pretty good. And then even here, Japanese cards. This is the reverse holo. This is just the Pokeball reverse holo, but even still, Mew or Pikachu and Mewtwo sell pretty well, and Gengar, even in the Pokeball, or yeah, Pokeball reverse holo. So, thought I'd take my chance there, and then Squirtle, I need this for my art rare set. But fortunately, I bought two of these while I was in Japan. Sent those off in my last submission. So hopefully we'll get a 10 on those. And then my real... Oh, no. I've still got some 9s. I was going to say my real list. But Venusaur. Again, Celebrations. Venusaur. Celebrations is, what, 80% Gemin 10 rate? Something like that. And I got 50%. I got two 10s, two 9s on both of them. So, again, I've, I'm pretty sure it's just the greater having a bad day. Or maybe trying to hit some numbers. He's like, I don't want to get this guy 100% Gem Mint 10 rate. We'll just give him 50%. Uh, Pokemon Center exclusive, Je uh, Near Mint 8. That's not even surprising. Some of these Pokemon Center um, exclusive ones are very hard to grade. They've since made it better. They include those little dividers in with the Pokemon card. So it kind of keeps them a little more sturdy, rigid. Um, but the old ones, definitely not surprised that got an 8. This Glaceon, a little bit thick on the bottom. I guess that could be why it got an 8. But again... Crown Zenith, you're not expecting anything to ever get an 8, so I'm not sure on that one. Beautiful card, definitely off-centered. These ones are hard to grade, not surprised by the Charizard. Um, I'll probably auction that off as well. War Turtle, off-centered, 151. Guess I'm not surprised by that. Um, I am surprised so many got 8s. This is the most 8s I've gotten in a submission. Um, it's wild, especially, I mean, this Trainer Gallery looked the exact same as the other Trainer Gallery. They were both good enough to send. 
but I'm not sure if it's a surface issue. I mean, I don't clean these, you know, with a rag or anything like that. So I guess there could be, I don't know, not even scratching like a fingerprint on the surface or something, but maybe I should be cleaning those a little bit better. Who knows? Uh, Crown Zenith again. Crown Zenith art rare is generally pretty, a little bit easier than the trainer gallery. So not sure what happened there. And then my favorites, the Flareon in an eight, the Jolteon in an eight, another Jolteon in an eight. So this one will actually be, one of these will be the giveaway card of this video. So again, to get entered in the video, to get entered into the giveaway, all you gotta do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with what your favorite card was from the submission, and I'll get entered you into win one of these cards. Um, it'll be this one. It'll be one of these cards shipped out to you for free. All I'll need to do is verify that you are the person commenting, uh, and I'll need to get your shipping address, and then I'll get that shipped out to you for free. So no purchase necessary. You don't pay for shipping or anything like that. It'll be US only. Um, unfortunately, to my international audience, I shipped one off, and it was like $50 shipping or something like that. So unfortunately, I can't pay that. I mean, that's expensive. So US only, I'll get that shipped out to you um, as soon as I can. So appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate the entering. But we got a few more cards here. Charizard in an eight. This one's off centered, so not surprised by that. Off centered on both the front and back. I probably shouldn't have even sent that in. And then the su big surprise, EV in the seven. Not sure. Again, I'll probably just end up uh, auctioning that. And then Alakazam EX. Hopefully this card is moving up with the 151 boom. So I'll be able to just crack this out, sell it raw, but not sure why this got a seven. Everything looked good to me. Again, unless there's some sur surface issues that I wasn't aware of um, because I don't really clean the surface or anything like that. I don't use product or wipes or anything like that. I just kind of check for whitening, make sure it's good and then send it. So maybe I should be wiping it with a cloth or whatever, but let me know in the comments what you guys do uh, before you guys send it off. And let me know how your returns have been from PSA. Have you been getting stuff from New Jersey? Have they been same uh, gem in 10 rates as California or has it been different for you? In, in my opinion, New Jersey's definitely been uh, much harder. Um, but you'll st still see all the numbers here, um, see if it made sense. I think I haven't ran the numbers yet. I do think with the 10s that I got, I got some big 10s. They will carry the submission, so I'll still profit overall on this, but not nearly as much as I would have liked, especially for the amount of work that is involved. So um, I'll be listing these to try to sell them as soon as I can. Not sure what I'll do with the nines. Most of them I'll be cracking to send them the next submission. So hang out if you're interested in seeing how these come back once I crack them. They'll be probably in January's return, would be my guess. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you like this kind of content, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to do a little bit more. I'm going to be doing some more openings, especially here of the holidays. There's some cool products coming out with Prismatic Evolutions. I'll be opening some of that. That'll be crazy. I've got my pre-orders in, which is insane right now. If you can pre-order that at MSRP, do it, do it, do it. Don't be paying scalper prices because I think it'll be readily available in Target, Walmart, GameStop, and all of that. But if you can get it at one of those retailers, go ahead, do it. Um, this set is going to be crazy. It's It's got some cool art. It's got the Master Ball coming back, so very excited for that set. And then the Trainer set right after that with N's Pokemon, Lily's Pokemon, all of those, and then Team Rocket set following that. So this year is going to be a very exciting a year for Pokemon cards, so I'll be doing much more on YouTube, a lot more openings. If you're interested in looking at my investment, you know, what I'm, what sets I'm investing in, what sets I'm buying, what sets I'm selling, what sets I'm flipping, and all that kind of stuff, let me know in the comments. I'll do some videos on that as well, um, as there's going to be a lot of opportunity in this next year with Pokemon. Pokemon doing what it's doing. It's crazy. So I'm going to be trying to take advantage of that from the YouTube space, uh, making as much content as I can, as well as keeping my eBay, you know, moving as best I can. So appreciate that. If you stuck through to the end, I really appreciate you guys. Um, you guys really make this channel worth it. I love the comments that I get. So I, I love it. So appreciate you guys hanging around. Um, again, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It does a lot for the algorithm and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.